dear friends, welcome back to yet another episode with another adventure. We are heading out towards the superstitions. I am meeting one of my dear friends, Monica, and we're gonna go on a hike. The hike is called the Wave Cave. Just watching a good old milky dilky sunset and having just another good old Arizona adventure. Let's just get right into it. $67. Dollars for a tank of gas. I gotta spend my entire 401k just to get gas around here. That is by far what I spend the most money on doing all this is my gas. All right, we're iced up. Let's get going. Okay, I'm just gonna park my car here so that I can claim the spot, the camping spot for tonight. And then I'm gonna hop into Monica's car. We're gonna take her car to the trailhead so that way I can claim this spot. No one takes it. We're good to go. This will be home for tonight. There's Monica. The hiking buddy. <laughs> You're like my uh, hiking Uber or whatever. I don't sure. know. <laughs> All right, let's, How's let's this treating you? do this. Uh, good enough. I yawned a few times, but I'm sure it'll kick in sooner or later. That way. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> the coffee kicks in. <laughs> These remind me of like uh, Dr. Seuss like style plants or something. <laughs> Dude, that smells like that smells crazy. I have very little connection. I'm slowly becoming like this plant lady. <laughs> you know, the kind of plant lady. <laughs> just... It's better than a cat lady. Yeah, totally. Oh, look. No, what's the name? Globe chamomile. Are they actually? I... Let's see. Show me, show, show me that. Show me that. Chamomile. This is the, what that is? Yes, look. Look. A globe. It's literally globe chamomile. Globe chamomile. What? That, I, yeah. I told you I'm becoming a plant lady. <laughs> you know your stuff, I guess. Now I feel tired. That's the stuff I said in my sleepy tea. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm going to bed. Uh -huh. They probably can't even see it. But the cave is up on that hill somewhere. Hopefully we make it. <laughs> Hopefully? Is oh. there something you didn't tell me, Josh? <laughs> I bet you when it rains, that becomes like a little waterfall. That little oh, middle. Like right there. Yeah. Do you hear those? Good amount of water. Are those like birds? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> That's your... <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Just uh, don't quit your day job for impersonating. <laughs> that sounded more like a, oh, a murder scene from a whole movie. Oh my god. Than a bird. <laughs> that is. Uh... <laughs> that was better. Okay, thank you, thank you. You see, practice makes not perfect. Progress. <laughs> progress. I'm gonna be doing that. You hear that, people? Practice makes makes progress. <laughs> I gotta get to. That was a good. That was a good little quote. <laughs> All right, Monica, what are these? This is an apricot mallow mellow. I'm not sure. Yeah. It says it's a plant. And for some, yeah. It's not a tree. <laughs> It's a plant. It's a, it's a plant. It's not a tree. So for all you guys out there who don't know what it is, it's a plant. <laughs> <laughs> we need a Google to figure that one out. We just have to make sure. <laughs> it's kind of like the whole vegetable and fruit situation. I didn't know that yeah. a tomato is a what? A fruit. It's a fruit. Right? Let's, let's Google that before we put this up on the internet. <laughs> Is tomato tomatoes a fruit? Yes. So it's, you know that's how we have to make sure. It's kind of like that vegetable and fruit sets of scenario. Well, I the, didn't know a tomato was a fruit. Right. So that was not a tree. So that's not a car. It's a plant. It's a plant. God. Okay, there's more of them. There's more plants. There's some more plants. Dude, look at this like avenue of saguaros. What's up, dude? Fist pump. <laughs> I saw it. Pretty rad out here. It's unbelievable. There are so many flowers up here right now. 
Which ones are these? These are just daisies. Just daisies. Little. Maybe they have a proper name. Let's let's look it up. I think daisy sounds about right. <laughs> We're almost to the top or to the cave, but views are already popping off. Can you come take a little quick reel? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to show you. What do you want? I'll just stand there. Like you can do exactly that. You want me to go in this way to you or you, can you start and just, out? No, it's from this way to me. Okay. I got you. Yeah. See that hot air balloon over there? Should we go ask him? Hey you, can I go up in your hot air balloon please? <laughs> what? Oh that one that one TikTok? Hiking's fun, right? <laughs> the incline. We're probably way down there. I haven't hiked as much as you do. Mid-hike check-in. Living the dream. All right, first little glimpse of the cave. There she is. We are almost there. Let's get in there. Made it. And beautiful views out into the valley. This thing is huge. We can have a concert in here. Turn into Red Rock Stadium. The next Red Rock. <laughs> that they told us about says, I am Trevor Krause. Please open and read me. Be like me. Or better, please put me back. Please put me back. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Wow. That's a this is just a small in insight into this young, outstanding man. He is my hero. He is by far a much better man than I ever will be. I will try for the rest of my life to be like him, even though I know I will never but it, make it, but I will never quit. He always used the seven words to live by, which I think everyone should. And that is, yes, sir, no, sir, please, and thank you. Trevor Krause is the greatest person I have ever known. I'm so proud of this young man. and so grateful to call him my boy and my son. Aww. Oh, my God. I love you, son, my little buddy, your dad, Patrick Krause. Aww. Memory of Trevor Krause. This adventure today was for you, Trevor. Say goodbye to Wave Cave. We're going to start heading back down before it gets too dark. She's over there doing acapella. The acoustics on point. Give me some, uh, give me some Halo. The Halo theme song. The Beyonce? Halo, the, from the, the video game. I don't know what. You don't know what Halo is? No. Oh my lord. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just christened this cave with Aww. blessings. That was awesome. <laughs> Can you even see her in there? It's so dark. <laughs> She's in there doing a cappella. I love it. Yeah, let's go picture at night. The Wave Cave, everybody. Featuring Monica, the a cappella. <laughs> and now we're gonna start heading back down before it gets too dark and we're tripping yeah. over ourselves. We'll see you guys back at the car. We made it. We are still alive. Now we're gonna head back to the car camping spot. Okay, so we are back to the car now. Monica just dropped me off. Um, she went home and I'm gonna be spending the night out here, car camping yet again. It is a beautiful, beautiful night. The moon is out, 
stars are out fantastic night i'm gonna get the fire going and uh, we're gonna relax a little bit so let's get that fire started Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> and I did <clears throat> prepare another pre-cooked meal before I came out here. And so this will be dinner for the night. That is some bougie living if I've ever seen it. I don't know why I'm talking with a fork in my mouth, but I am. This is camping. <laughs> Now this is my kind of Friday night right here. Good hearty meal, bonfire, the night stars. Doesn't get any better than that. We just got done sitting by the fire. It was a glorious, glorious bonfire. The moon right now is so bright. You can see everything. You can almost see like it's daylight. That's how bright the moon is right now. I'm gonna start getting ready for bed and then we'll get some rest. Let's brush the old pearly watts. <laughs> I'm so tired, so I'm gonna get some rest and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Yet another glorious night of sleep in the old car. <laughs> Woo! It is a beautiful, beautiful morning, so I'm gonna get up and make some coffee. What else is new? <laughs> Probably should unlock it, eh? Coffee time.
You guys know the drill. The best part. Yes. <laughs> yes. That is all that needs to be said is yes. <laughs> so, so good. It's already so warm, so hoodie's got to come off. <laughs> now that's a nice full cup of Joe right there. Yeah, yo. I'm so excited for this cup of coffee. <laughs> As I always am. Every single cup of coffee, every new cup of coffee, I'm equally as excited. Find somebody in your life that loves you as much as I love coffee. <laughs> Cheers. That sun on my face is glorious. <laughs> beautiful morning views, beautiful coffee views. Doesn't get much better than that. Of course, there's a plane up there when I'm trying to film. <laughs> the audacity to be flying a plane while I'm filming. <laughs> The rest of the day, I don't really know. I have no idea what's gonna happen the rest of today. I don't even know what's gonna happen tomorrow. You guys are gonna find out with me what we're gonna do this weekend. <laughs> Cause I have no idea, as of right now, no clue. Just winging it. This place really is so, so beautiful. The sounds, all the birds and stuff right now, they're going crazy. I love it, it's so nice. The, the sounds of the desert and the landscape. The landscape is so beautiful. I got my camera with my microphone set up. I'm gonna try to get some clips to try to show you guys like how blissful and awesome it is out here. I know it's not gonna do it justice. Hopefully I can do at least a little bit of justice of how beautiful it is out here. We'll see. So there's this big old cow out here with massive horns. I don't know if you guys can see them. Right there. Huge. All right, I don't want to bug him too much. I don't want him trampling me. <laughs> All right, so I'm making another cup of coffee. This will be the one that I enjoy in complete silence. No videoing, just taking it all in. And then from there, we'll, uh, we'll see where the day takes us. Whatever just comes my way today, so. Uh, let's just wait for this truck to go by. I'm gonna stand here all awkward while he looks at me.
Okay, we're all packed up. We'll say goodbye to our temporary home. Goodbye home. It was a pleasure. Thanks for having me. You guys are in this with me because you're going to find out what we're doing next as I'm finding out what we're doing next. I'll update you guys as I figure it out. Goodbye home. Thanks again for having me. Hey guys, it's been a few hours since this morning, since the last time I checked in with you guys. I decided to pull a complete audible and uh, come out here and golf. After this morning, I was just feeling kind of tired, not really in the mood of staying out in my car any longer for the day. So I decided to come home, get some food, get some rest and uh, take it easy in town today. So then I decided to come out here and get some golf in. A little sunset golf on a Saturday. It's beautiful. So yeah, a little bit of a change up from like the outdoor stuff, but I do love golf, so this is not a bad thing for me. And I'll be going to dinner tonight with some friends and just kind of taking it easy in town tonight. But then tomorrow I hope to get back out there, maybe do some paddle boarding, maybe a hike. Maybe I'll show you guys a golf swing here. Stay tuned. Okay, so we got about 140 yards to the green. Great tee shot, a little four hybrid off the tee, about, about 210 yards or so, nothing crazy. About 140 to the green, got a nine iron. Let's see if we can get it in there. That was a little bit of a yank, but whatever. Okay, a beautiful par three here. It's about 150 yards, so I'm gonna try to muscle the nine iron up there. I don't think I can make it there, but the balls are kind of rolling out, so I'm hoping to land short and let it roll up. Okay. I pulled it a little bit, but it's back there. The cool thing about this golf course is there's an airport like right here for tiny planes. Here comes one right now. They're just constantly flying over, like tons of them. It's pretty cool. Okay, so this is where we ended up. A little bit past the pin, but not too bad. Ladybug on my ball. Watch out, ladybug. Got a putt. Should be breaking a little bit left to right here. I didn't hit it hard enough. Like I said, I'm not the greatest golfer ever. I don't claim to be. So I will take a par any day of the week if you can, if i get a par i'm happy that's all i care about so nice little par right there <laughs> 